So today let's talk about how to mix all different skin tones. Even the same person, the skin tone may look different when you're in the sun or you're in the shade or outdoor or indoor in different kind of lighting. So you have to use your judgment when you observe someone's skin tone. Okay, let's talk about how to mix these three different types of skin tone we have reference. And this one, what is just the general color for the skin tone? Orange. What about this one, the middle? A little bit more red. And what about this skin tone, the brown color? So that means we first have to learn how to use mix the orange color, the pink color, and the brown color. Let's go from there. Okay. I'm using my calligraphy brush for this exercise. Okay, after I do it, you follow me to do the same exercise. So I want you to pay a little bit more attention into how I take the color, how I mix the color. Okay, take a look at the orange color. And the orange color is actually a little bit more red than the yellow color. So the first color I'm going to take, take the color from the three primary color that close to the color that I see over there. This is not just about mixing skin tone. You can mix the, any color you want by using all this Windsor yellow, Windsor red, and the Windsor blue green shade. Or you can use the present blue. All right, I'm going to take the red color. Okay. I put it right in the middle over here. Like that, this is good. Okay, and normally, I don't have to clean my brush. It just go in over here because you already have enough paint in your brush. And you can just dip a little bit water. I'm gonna just, but when you take color, make sure you take it from the edge, from the, the side. You don't wanna take it right from the middle over here and then you're making the yellow become all orange, right? Later when you need to just take the yellow and you can take it from the other side with other colors already in the brush. Now I'm going to put this color in here. Now you can see this is an orange color. There's an orange color very close to the color that you see in the middle of the cheek on the side, right? This is very much close to it, but it's maybe not really so dark. And when you mix a little bit more, uh, the pink already, the red color already inside the brush and with more and more coming into the join, the yellow color. Right. If I'm gonna keep mixing, keep mixing over here, you can see on this side I have a little bit more red, and the other side I have a little bit more yellow. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just take a little bit yellow color, take a little bit water, and mix it in the side over here, and that's how you make it a little bit lighter. Okay. This is lighter, and I'm going to have a little bit more water over, even lighter. Okay. So the same color here by mixing different amount of water to make a different dark and light value of the same color. Now, all right, I'm gonna take this color and put it on right in here. Now, I want you to take a look at comparing with the side of her face. Is this just the color on her face? The middle of the cheek over there, it actually have a little bit more red. Now I'm gonna mix a little red and put it in here, right on the left side of the eye. Now, moving over, I'm going to use a little bit more water. Now, I'm going to have a little bit of water on this side. I'm going to blend it over. Now, this is on the side of her face. So, this is a very easy to mix that colored skin tone. So when you think about a skin tone, I don't want you to think about, oh, it's a skin tone, it's the skin, oh, it's the skin, how am I going to mix the skin? All you need to think about, oh, that's color. Does it matter the skin or the metal? Just thinking about what color that closest to in this three, pri three, this three primary color. The closest to the red, okay, but have a little bit more yellow in that too. So this is how you see, because we don't have orange color in the color that we mix from. Oh, this color, I see a little bit more yellow over here. Should I start over? You can use glazing, which is also wash over the dried 
area. So I'm gonna wash that a little bit lighter. I'm gonna use even a little bit. Uh, look at this fry brush. Okay, here we go. This is one inch fry brush. There you go. I'm gonna soften this and make it a little bit more accepted into the gradient. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, very simple. What I'm gonna do, I see a little bit more yellow. Do you know what? I'm just gonna take the yellow. See that? I just take the yellow color from here. I want to have the yellow color directly glaze on top of that. Now you see a little bit more yellow with that color. And if you want to say, oh, that's the whole thing over here should have yellow too. You see that? Now that orange color will have a little bit more yellow color into it. So by glazing another primary color, you can change the look of the color. And if you say, oh, there's too much yellow. All right, Take a little bit red back into here. Here you go. That's how easy you can play with the different skin tone. Sometimes we have to go through two or three layers of, um, of overlaying and the color get to a very mature color that we're looking for. Sometimes just orange, maybe it's not good enough. Or maybe one layer is not good enough. Just keep that and have open-minded. Let's take a look at the second. Uh, we're just gonna look at the light side, the cheek. Okay, even have the, okay, it mostly is red, but I have a little bit, little bit orange. So I'm gonna take this orange color, okay? have it mixed into the red. Now you can see, now in this orange color, still say orange color, it's a red orange color with lots of water, right? So keep that in mind so far, in my mixing area, there's only two colors. One is yellow, one is red. I would like you to think that this is no orange color. You only wanna think yellow and red. Look at this color, oh yeah, yellow and red. I want you to think that way. This is our system. And oh, look at that. This is more red than the yellow. Okay, I'm gonna take this color and put it on her face here. And I'm gonna put down it. Now this side have a little bit more water, less paint. But here looking at it, it needs to be a little bit more red. I'm gonna put a little bit more red on the side over here. That's is her cheek. That's the skin tone of her. Let's talk about how to mix a darker skin tone for the girl over here. And how to mix that brown color. And very much if you can mix the brown color, you know how to mix any color. And how to mix that brown color, we need blue color. You may be arguing with me. Are you kidding me? I don't see any blue over there. Okay. Yeah, I see the blue in that color because uh, just using the yellow and the red, you can't achieve that color. That means it's going to need some blue color in it. Okay, well, let's try it. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a little bit Windsor blue color over here. I'm gonna put it over here. This color is very strong. You don't, sometimes you don't really need that much paint into it. Now, here you go and I'm going to put it in here. You see that the blue color is gonna make it look a little bit less and less bright. Here you go. Now, still a little bit blue, the blue very strong. Now I'm gonna take some red color from the edge over here. I'm gonna have a little bit more red. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit blue in here. All right, now it looks like a bit more purplish color. Uh, this is not purple, I want it to be a little bit more brown. How can we make the brown? Okay, that's the brown color immediately. It's the yellow, red, and the blue color, and the brown. All the yellow mixed with the purple color, I get the brown. Why? Because of the blue and the red is purple. And plus the yellow. That's just the brown color. You may be thinking about this brown color, have a, need to have a little bit more red. Okay, no, in this case, at this color actually need a little bit more yellow. You can see that? 
There is uh, a lot of variety of different tone of brown color, and from a little bit red brown and to a little bit more yellow brown. Now you take it, take a look at this color, and now this color very similar to the girl's face. Now I'm gonna start from the left side of the girl. Actually, you have a little bit more red brown, so I'm gonna take a little bit red over here and mix in here. Now I'm gonna show you. Now on the take look at the left hand side, the edge of her face. Ah, you put it close, but I need to have a little bit more red. I'm gonna have even a little bit more red over here on the side over here. Now a little bit more red. All right. Now in continue, I'm gonna have a little bit more yellow niche. Now I'm gonna get a little bit yellow at the middle of the face. A little bit more yellow. This is not orange. This is actually a light brown color. Have a little bit more. I'm gonna get a little bit more water and mix it into. You see that? That's just the get a little bit even more yellow. Here you go. I'm gonna get more yellow. You can see the different variety of brown color. Now you can see that on her face. And if you think about, oh no, 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 the middle of the face is a little bit lighter. That's easy. I just gonna take just the water, okay? I'm gonna have the water, wash it. Now become a little bit lighter color, which is the middle of the cheek. That would be this color, okay? Like this. Now you know how to mix the three different type of skin tone. If you want it to be lighter, that's fine. Just add some water and remove some color. That's called subtract, right? I'm gonna make that, use this very soft brush, very soft. Now it's got a little bit lighter. Now this is the lighter color. Here you go, bingo, done. And you think about, oh no, 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 that color actually have a little bit more yellow and red, that means orange, right? So you're gonna get a little bit yellow, a little red, and put it over here, mix a little bit, and get a little bit more yellow in it. Now I'm just gonna put it on top of this. So all you want to think about is how I, how can I modify that color? That usually what you are going to put that color in from here on, it just think about what is this too much from what you want. Or just thinking about what else need to add to that color. So let's say, oh, on the side over here, oh, that should have a little bit more red. In that case, what you need to do is just take a little bit red color, dab on it, it's just less, less than a little color. Okay, here you go. Just, I don't want that much red. And just put it on here. So this is called mixing directly on your watercolor paper. And the same thing on other color base. Like over here, oh, I see the color on the side over here. Have a little bit more red. Oh, here you go. I'm gonna put a little bit more red color right in here. So you don't have to mix that color again and then before you put it on. All you need to think about is how can I modify that color by thinking about how to add one or two or three primary colors. That is a good point. I just wash my brush and just go into, if I want the edge to be softer, now here you go. Now I can softly blend it. Depends on what kind of shape you are trying to do. I'm gonna have a little bit more red back over here. Now this is what I want to do on her cheek, right? That is it. Now the same thing over here for the old grandpa, grandma, sorry, for the old grandma. Now I'm gonna see that a little bit more red color in the in the middle over here. Now I'm gonna just add the red color in here. Now see a little turning, have a little bit more yellow in here, and coming over here, add it to. Now directly you can change the color from what we already have to become the color that we're looking for. And on the grandma's face, it have a little bit more shape over there. Now I'm gonna looking at it, a little bit more red, and I'm gonna put in this color, and this is too much. I have a little bit more yellow. Now that's good. 
Now what I'm gonna do, look at my brush over here. It have a little bit darker color over here, more water in the middle of the brush. I'm gonna have it like this, and I'm gonna think about over here, and then moving around, think before you paint it, and you can see that. That's just on her cheek, in the middle of her cheek. Now I'm gonna leave the bottom a little bit harder edge, and the top have a little bit softer. And if I put the brush a little bit deeper like this, and actually the brush draw itself, it already create the soft blending. And on this side, have a little bit harder edge. This needs to be have a little bit more red. I'm gonna put a little bit red over here, like this. Okay, here you go. From a little bit harder edge, and going a little bit softer edge. 